Hey everyone, welcome back to the Token Zenith. Today, we're diving deep into a project that's making serious waves in the world of blockchain and zero knowledge tech. I'm talking about Alio, that Aliothi first layer one blockchain that's private by default and programmable like Ethereum. This isn't just another Ethereum killer. Nah. Aleo is trying to build an entirely different category, private smart contracts using zero knowledge cryptography from the ground up. It just launched its mainnet and we're talking years in the making. Massive backing, huge community, legit zero knowledge experts. And most importantly, it actually works. If you've been around crypto for a while, you know privacy has always been kind of a side dish. Aleo, it's the main course, so buckle up. We're breaking down why Alio might just be the most important privacy project in all of Web3. Alright, let's zoom out for a sec. Why is Aleo even necessary? I mean, Ethereum is powerful, right? But there's a catch. Everything you do on-chain is public. Your wallet, your transactions, your balances. It's all out there. It's like paying for dinner in the middle of Times Square. Aleo changes that completely. It's built for private applications. Think DeFi, identity, even gaming. But with one huge difference, your data stays completely confidential. Aleo combines ZK Snarks, a language called Leo, and its own blockchain runtime to make that possible. In a world where governments are getting more invasive and surveillance capitalism is real, privacy on-chain isn't just a feature, it's a necessity. And Aleo is delivering it without sacrificing programmability or scalability. That's rare, very rare. Let's talk architecture, baby. How does Aleo actually work? Because this ain't some vaporware dream, it's got real tech. So first, there's Snark OS, which is basically the blockchain layer. Then there's Snark VM, a virtual machine that executes smart contract logic, but off-chain. Why off-chain? Because then you can run computations privately and just post a cryptographic proof on-chain. Pretty slick. Then comes the consensus part, a Leo BFT combined with something called proof of succinct work. It's not just mining, it's proving computations with ZK, and the system rewards both provers and validators. On top of that, devs can use a special programming language called Leo, a Rust-like DSL made just for writing private smart contracts. You don't have to be a ZK expert to build on a Leo, and that's a huge win for adoption. Everything works together to form this stack. Scalable, decentralized, fully private apps. It's like ZK rollups, but native. D. Alright. Now let's get into that sweet, sweet token talk. The Alio token is what powers the entire ecosystem. It's used for staking, paying for transactions, incentivizing provers, and more. At mainnet launch, total supply started at 1.5 billion Alio tokens. Distribution? Pretty balanced. You've got 34% for early backers, 25% for ecosystem grants and education, 17% for the team, 16% for the Aleo Foundation, and the rest for strategic partners. Pretty transparent. The unique thing? This isn't your usual buy and hold token. You can prove computations, earn Aleo. You can validate blocks, earn Aleo. You can build apps and monetize them privately. This is a full-blown ZK economy. And unlike many other chains, there's no inflation flood here. Rewards reduce over time in a predictable curve, designed to last over a decade with a hard cap of 2.6 billion. E okay, let's talk about security and roadmap, because these are the things that make or break L1 projects. Aleo has gone through some intense testing, three test nets. Over 2,000 people participated in their multi-party setup ceremony. That's one of the largest ZK-trusted setups ever. They even got third-party audits from ZK Security and Trail of Bits for Snark OS and Snark VM. No major issues were found, their roadmap, super clear. Mainnet launched in 2024. Right now, they're focused on expanding dev tooling, getting governance off the ground, and onboarding enterprise-grade partners. And speaking of partners, yeah, Google Cloud is running a validator. That's right, Google. There's also investment from A16Z, SoftBank, and participation from Samsung Next, Fort, and more. 
Even the new head of partnerships came from Apple and Microsoft. Not exactly your typical Web3 resume. F, so what's the Aleo ecosystem actually look like right now? Let's paint the picture. We've already got dozens of dApps launching, from private swaps and lending platforms, to ZK-powered DAOs, to even gaming projects. There's a growing number of devs deploying Leo contracts daily. The community? Huge. Discord has over 500,000 members. There are ambassador programs, grants, hackathons, you name it. The Aleo Foundation has also given out millions in grants to early stage builders. There's even a naming service, Aleo Name Service, aka ANS, wallet integrations with Fox Wallet, and explorer tools like Snarky Explorer. The network's active, not just live. And staking is already open for anyone who wants to support and earn. We're watching a fully private economy start to take shape right before our eyes. Gee, so let's wrap it up. Aleo is not trying to be the next Ethereum, it's trying to be something entirely new. A chain where you can build anything, from DeFi to social apps, but do it with full privacy, full ownership, and zero noise from centralized actors. With top-tier audits, a legit mainnet, strong tokenomics, and a growing ecosystem, Aleo is setting the gold standard for zero-knowledge infrastructure in Web3. Remember, this is not financial advice. Always do your own research before investing in any project. If you found this overview helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more crypto insights. See you in the next video.